Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are exploring the amazing world of beneficial nematodes. These tiny organisms may seem small, but they are mighty allies in pest control and soil health. Join me as I delve into three types of beneficial nematodes and how they can supercharge your garden. I bought the Beneficial Nematodes Triple Blend Pack from Amazon. I received the package yesterday and stored it in the refrigerator. It is important to store the package in the refrigerator until you are ready to apply it. Before explaining what nematodes are, I am going to check if the package I received contains live nematodes. When nematodes are shipped and delayed for a long period, they may not survive. So I want to make sure my package has live nematodes. I will examine the package using my microscope to see if the nematodes are alive. The pack I bought contains 10 million live nematodes and it can cover 3,600 square feet of garden area. Take a tiny amount of powder from the package and adding a drop of water will activate the nematodes. Look, some of the nematodes are moving. I hope the rest of the package also contains live nematodes. A few of them are not moving. Perhaps it will take some more time to wake them up. Beneficial nematodes are tiny, worm-like creatures found naturally in soil all over the world. Inside their bodies, they carry special bacteria that are like their secret weapon. When they get inside insects, these bacteria go to work and can kill the insect within just one to two days. The nematodes enter the insect larvae through its mouth, rear end, breathing holes, or even right through its skin. Once inside, they release their bacteria. These bacteria grow fast and cause a kind of blood poisoning in the insect, which ends up killing it. Even after the insect is dead, the bacteria keep working, turning its body into food for the nematodes to eat and use to make more nematodes. When the food runs out inside the dead insect, the nematodes leave it and go off looking for another insect to attack. Beneficial nematodes can effectively manage many pest problems in your garden, However, it's crucial to apply them at specific times and intervals, often multiple times, to effectively tackle pests in your garden. There are three main types of beneficial nematodes. First one is Steinonema carpocapsae. This is effective against pests like cutworms, webworms, and armyworms, especially in warm soil conditions. Second one is Steinonema feltiae. This one controls fungus gnats, root maggots, and thrips, ideal for cooler soil temperatures, Heterohabditis bacteriophora. This nematode targets root-dwelling pests, such as grubs and root weevils, thriving in deeper soils and warmer conditions. The pack I bought contains all three of these beneficial nematodes. This year, I started noticing a lot of cutworm activity, and they were damaging all my young corn plants, completely destroying them. This prompted me to realize the severity of the pest issue and apply nematodes to address it. These are the contents of the package I received. It includes user instruction manuals, an ice pack to keep the nematodes cool during transportation, and the nematodes themselves. You can use a hose end sprayer or a backpack sprayer. I prefer using the backpack sprayer as it makes it easier for me to cover larger areas of the garden. Make sure the water is filtered and free of chlorine. You can use an inexpensive water filter to ensure the water is clean before mixing the nematodes. Personally, I use well water directly for this purpose, and hence, I don't have to use any water filter. Mm -hmm. 
I'll add half of the package, which contains approximately five million nematodes, into the five gallons of water. I'll use the remaining half for the next application. Stir the mixture well to ensure the nematodes are evenly distributed. Make sure to use the remaining open package soon after the first application, as the nematodes may not survive if left unused for too long. That's all, mixture is prepared. Now let's go ahead and apply the solution we've prepared. Choosing the right time for application is crucial. Early morning or late afternoon is optimal to avoid direct sunlight, which can harm the nematodes. I decided to do it in the nice, early, cool morning. I am applying to all my garden beds where I notice cut worm activity. Make sure to apply the solution evenly across all soil areas. I use a fan spray nozzle, which helps to spray evenly and thoroughly. I'll cover in detail what I've planted in all of these garden beds in upcoming videos. These are my garden beds inside the greenhouse where I'm growing various types of spinach. This is the garden bed area where I've noticed a lot of cutworm activity, damaging all my young corn plants. As you can see, the plants have been damaged at the bottom of the stem by cutworms. If you have a lot of weeds surrounding your garden, make sure to spray around the garden area as well. Today, I've finished applying nematodes throughout my garden area. I'll plan for another application in the next four to six weeks. Using beneficial nematodes is a natural and effective way to combat garden pests like cutworms. By applying them correctly and at the right times, we can protect our plants without harmful chemicals. Remember, a healthy garden starts with smart pest management. Additionally, taking preventive and proactive measures can help tackle pest issues before they even arise. Ensuring your garden stays healthy and thriving. Happy gardening. See you in next video. Bye.